Today, being March 19th, 2016, uh, Silicon Dust has just added some improvements uh, yesterday and today uh, with their new HD Home Run DVR program. Uh, so I just want to give you an update for the people that do not uh, subscribe to the uh, uh, HD Home Run DVR project yet. So anyway, this is for those to have an idea of what it is. Okay, first place, um, this one I am using it on my Minix box, Minix 888X8H Plus. Anyway, it's an S18 uh, Amlogic SOC uh, system on a chip CPU. But anyway, uh, now they've got two versions. This is the older HD Home Run, and then they have the View. Now the HD Home Run seems to run better than the new View app, but the View app is the one that gives you the uh, DVR capabilities. Uh, first, let me show you this one here, so maybe I can explain what I'm talking about. Okay, now this one, it, it plays extremely well. It plays very well. But what I wanted to show you was that this one, okay, by using the uh, pause play button on my remote a dozen times, it brings up the uh, uh, settings menu, and this one here, the M-Logic SOCs, they do have hardware decoding for the MPEG-2, which my over-the-air HD streams are actually all of them are MPEG-2 format. So anyway, I turned on the uh, hardware decoding, and that is what enables us to play flawlessly. Some people say, well, you can't use the word flawlessly for the dog, but anyway, it does. But anyway, I just want to show you that particular one. Okay, but this one does not, this one does not have the uh, DVR uh, program with it. Okay, now I will go back and show you the, uh, the other one. This one. Okay, now this one gives you the uh, DVR functions. Okay, but it does not play very well because I cannot get it into the hardware decoding. Uh, using the, uh, the pause play 13 times, it brings up a menu, but not the menu we normally use to turn on the hardware decoding. So anyway, that's, that's what I'm missing there. So basically this one does not work very well for live TV. Uh, but there are some uh, more functions that uh, they've added that works really well. And that's the live. Again, it's got these slice coming out. Okay, now, uh, what I wanted to show you, go into the uh, Discover. Well, what's on now? Okay, now, if you notice, it shows you how far along in the program that it's recorded. This is a new edition, which I really like that. So, as you can see, uh, PGA, they're... Uh, it's only been playing a little while, so it's got quite a bit of ways to go on it. Uh, Car 54, blah, 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 is almost done. So let's go to that. Okay, now I would like to record this one. Now this is something new they just added. So I go to that one. Bingo! Okay, I just recorded that particular one. And I just turned it off. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you, uh, the different things that they've done. Let me go back to the live again. Again, it's, it does not play fluidly. It's uh, jerky, and because I cannot turn on the hardware decoding. So this, again, this is using my Minix uh, player. And again, if you uh, notice, it shows you how far along you've got in the program to, before it's, it ends. Oh, that's good. 
And again, people say, well, we need a 10 foot where they can see it. Obviously, this is I'm more than 10 foot away, and I read it very well. So there's no problem there. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you is the coding gun. The coding. Now, they just added a new... Um, A new add-on for that one too also. And what they did, now there again, Cody, since Cody uses hardware decoding, uh, it plays great. And if you notice, I turned on the subtitles. My hearing's not that great because I'm an old man, but anyway, I turned on subtitles. But anyway, buffering. But all my boxes are connected uh, with gigabit Ethernet. Again, let's see if I can do something on this one. Now, this one will not allow me to uh, record just one particular uh, event. They just added the slice view to the Cody add-on. And again, this one you can read it 30 feet away. <laughs> so uh, it's very nice. And again, for those that do not know how to get to bring up the uh, uh, subtitles, you come to that. And just go down to there and just enable the subtitles. Now, to get to the subtitle, you have to go into the settings, and this is any of the Cody system. Okay, go to the video, subtitles. Go to enable parsing for closed captions. Oh. Now what I do, I like to put it at the bottom of the video, but that's your option. Again, you can change whatever font you want. I like it what it was. Now it comes at, I think, standard 28. I like to make it smaller because I'm, I'm looking at a 65-inch uh, TV screen that I've got. Normal, color, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you've got all those options there. But you turn those on, enable those, and that in turn gives you the opportunity to uh, use uh, um, closed captioning. So anyway, but I just want to show those improvements that they've made. Uh, still, there's a few more things that they need to do, but uh, they're getting there. Now, one thing that I did notice, I can pause it. Now, now supposedly, they have not got the fast forward working. So I don't know if it works or not, but I can pause it. I can play it. I thought I could fast forward it. I thought it's fast forwarding. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It says it is, but whether it is or not, I have no idea. But <laughs> anyway, I have not tinkered with it long enough to actually set and check it, but uh, supposedly it's not working now. So anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, a little bit of that. All right. Thank you.